Yes, today I'll be presenting you a journal paper which was published in Jan 2018. This was presented. This was published in uh, Transitions of IEEE papers. So the topic name is Color Balance and Fusion for Underwater Image Enhancement, and these are the authors. So the flow of the presentation would be like first I'll be introducing this journal paper to you and then stating their uh, objective and then I mean like explaining you their approach which is uh, image processing and then comparing this technique with the existing image processing techniques and then finally telling you what they have achieved their outcomes. So have you ever been for uh, scuba diving? What do you see there? A bluish and greenish kind of images, right? Why does this happen? This happens mainly because of three reasons. One is absorption. The light which enters the water get absorbed, like high wavelength lights get absorbed. Those are red, orange, yellow wave, uh, kind of lights. They get absorbed. Second is scattering. The When the light generally enters a denser medium, it generally gets scattered due to heavier particles present over there and then floating particles on the surface. These floating particles also uh, play important role for scattering of light. So why do we need to process these images? What do we get out of them? There are numerous uh, advantages or basically information which we can get from them. We can actually control the underwater vehicles like submarines or do my marine biology research to invent, I mean like uh, discover new species and then inspection of underwater infrastructure which can be of great revenue. So the objective of their paper is to introduce an effective technique to enhance the images captured underwater and degraded due to the medium scattering and absorption. The basic motive is to convert this bluish and greenish image to a normal image like this one. So what is their approach? Their approach is a single image approach. Using a single image, they convert it to color compensated image and white balance image. The white balance image uh, itself has two subparts. One is the white balance image itself, which compensates for the scattered light, and the other one is e uh, image uh, fusion, which actually uh, enhances the image boundaries and uh, borders. So these two images are blended together to form a single image. And then the series of steps called uh, multi-scale multi fusion strategy is followed. This is done to avoid sharp weight map transitions. And the final image which is processed is obtained after these stages. So this is a technique which they are following. This is a white balanced image and this is a multi-scale fusion uh, steps which they are following. And this is a final image. So to compare this method with the existing methods, this method is a single image approach. So where in previously the methods which were followed, they either took like different images from different angles and directions and then compared them to get the final result or they used specialized hardware. In this, uh, in this uh, method, they're not even using specialized hardware. And then information about underwater conditions is not needed, like the depth of the water where the image is present, that's all not, re not needed for this uh, technique. Relatively wide range of applications. See when you use a specialized hardware in previous uh, techniques, they are limited to a few applications, but this has no such limitations. No specialized camera is needed, like few techniques use specialized camera where enhancement becomes easy. But here a normal uh, working camera can be used. This is not location specific like you there's no I mean like final restriction on like uh, how much deep you can go into the water. But generally in uh, deep sea uh, 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 object which is at 10 meters distance is generally not visible. So you can't uh, use it for such long distances. So the outcomes which they have uh, obtained is that they have presented an alternative approach to enhance the underwater videos and images. And this is done by a strategy of fusion principle. They have enhanced the wide range of what underwater images and that is done with high accuracy. This, uh, they, have, they were able to recover important faded features and designs. 
Use of this method for enhancement of several challenging underwater computer vision applications was achieved. That's it. Thank you.